Today also the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner is marking 100 days since the establishment and they're having uh, a forum at the Morven Peak Hotel just to discuss uh, how far they've gone, their achievements and other issues that they plan to prioritize in the next 12 months. Currently speaking is P.S. Esther Koimet. Let's listen in to what she's saying. Industrial Revolution brought with it technological and social advances that have resulted in transformative development in computing and other emerging technologies which are collecting and generating unprecedented um, and exponential amounts of data, most of which relates to individuals. As a result, the technological developments are presenting major concerns of privacy in the way information is processed, which calls for protection of the individual and how their data is collected, used, and stored. Um, the Data Protection Act is hailed as one of the most progressive data protection laws in Africa, and indeed globally. The enactment of the Data Protection Act in November of 2019 was a momentous achievement that marked the government of Kenya's commitment to upholding and protecting the constitutional right to privacy of individuals and the protection of their personal data of Kenya citizens and residents. Kenya is de Kenya's development is anchored in on Vision 2030 which aims to transform the country into a knowledge-based, industrialized, middle-income country, providing a high quality of life to all its citizens. One of the key guidelines of the attainment of Vision 2030 is the National ICT Policy 2010, which guides Kenya's priorities in the ICT sector. The Data Protection Act is key enabling legislation in the attainment of Kenya's strategic goals uh, and indeed the oper operationalization of the Office of the Data Pro Protection Commissioner plays a critical role in the attainment of the same. The Ministry of ICT Innovation and Youth Affairs has been and continues to be committed to ensuring the success of the Office of the Data Commissioner and to that end the Ministry, as you have heard, requested the uh, Communication Authority of Kenya to host the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner for one year, as the office secures for office space. Um, deployed, we also deployed seven officers for a period of six months pending the development of the organization structure and the restructuring and the recruitment of staff. Um, the recruitment of necessary staff remains a key, um, a key priority of the ministry and the government at large. I am happy to note um, that the ministry will soon forward the proposed organization structure uh, to the Public Service Commission for approval. Uh, the, with the support of Parliament and the national, with the support of the National Treasury and the and Parliament, we've also uh, had 11 million shillings allocated in the 2021 financial year for the operations of the, of the Office of the Data Commissioner. The objective is to ensure that the office is sufficiently funded to perform its mandate. And um, we are happy that you have committed to uh, giving the, the Office of the Data Commissioner uh, additional resources for them to be able to play their role uh, critically. We would request that you don't forget the ministry, the mother ministry. <laughs> Father, the cabinet secretary, Joe Musheru, caused the gazettement of a task force to develop general regulations that will see the proper implementation of the Data Protection Act. The ministry recognizes the importance of the Office of the Data Commissioner and will continue to walk the journey with the Data Commissioner past these 100 days and provide our full support. Ladies and gentlemen, it now gives me great pleasure to mark the 100 days of the operationalization of the Data Commissioner's Office by one, 
launching the official logo of the office and the Data Protection Commissioner, two, launching the official website of the Office of the Data Protection Commissioner, and three, recognizing the work that the office has done in the development of key draft manuals and draft guidelines and launch the service charter, draft complaints manual, draft guidelines on the protection the data protection impact assessment and draft guidelines for consent. These draft documents will be available to stakeholders for comment and further improvement. And we would really request that when these are put out for comment, if we could take the time to make sure that we have reviewed them and we have added uh, our comments in order to ensure that we are all happy with the final documents that get um, Long, that get uh, uh, approved. Um, I thank you all, and God bless you very much. And Immaculate and your team, we wish you very well because your success is our success. Asante Nisana. That is uh, Principal Secretary Esther Koimet just currently addressing a gathering uh, that is happening uh, today as uh, the Office of uh, the Data uh, Commissioner is uh, giving an update on the progress they've made uh, since uh, a Data Commissioner was appointed uh, on the 16th of November the year 2020, uh, just giving an update on the progress and the achievements and what lies ahead uh, for the office in the next 12 months. 